By the end of this video, you'll be able to get your FPS from really laggy or just not as good as you want it to be, like this, all the way to really smooth, just like this on screen now. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some FPS boost optimization tricks so that your FPS can go up to 150, 200, 300, and however much you want it to do. Anyways, let's get into it. So for the first trick I'm going to show you, this isn't actually how to boost your FPS. This is just for if you have a monitor that's more than 60 hertz that refreshes at more than 60 FPS, so that you can play Roblox at more than 60 FPS. It's called an FPS unlocker, and I'll show you how to get it right now. If you don't want an FPS unlocker, then just skip to the timestamp on screen to see the first trick about how to get better FPS on Roblox. Anyways, let's get into the FPS unlocker. So for the FPS unlocker, once you're on Chrome or just on like, Roblox wherever you're on, you want to open up Chrome or any sort of web browser that you have then go ahead and open up a new tab and then search up roblox fps unlocker now the first one here should say releases axed in rbx fps unlocker which is a github link go ahead and click on that if you see an ad then just scroll down a little and click on the one i just clicked on then uh you'll see this website screen that i want right here if you do not then go ahead and check the link in the description and then you'll be on the same page as i am right now so if you're watching this video a little bit later in the future then you may see it says like version 4.5 version 5 6 7 it may be a higher version because this is constantly being updated but yeah pretty much what you want to do is whatever version it's on here uh, you want to go to download here 64 bit which is below go ahead and click on that then you might get a pop-up asking you which folder you want to save it to but if you don't then you'll just get this on the bottom left right here which will just be uh, which to show you that the uh, file is downloaded if it's downloading then just go ahead and wait for that you can pause the video and then come back when it's done downloading so what you want to do is go ahead and make a uh, Chrome uh, or whatever web browser you're using in windowed mode once it's in windowed mode you should be able to see your desktop behind here if you can't then go ahead and minimize uh, all of the apps that are already there now you should have your desktop background and, and this window open right here so what you want to do is go ahead and drag the roblox fps unlocker zip file onto your desktop and then now the next thing you want to do I'm, i just minimized chrome you can do that too uh the next thing you want to do is go ahead and double click on here it should open up like a winra like a uh, app menu thing uh, if you don't get this then you may have like a different app that it opens but for most of you it'll be WinRAR if you don't have WinRAR go ahead and download that it's really uh, useful and it lets you unpack zip files like this uh, uh, files that are made sh smaller can be extracted onto your PC so once you've opened this up what you're gonna do is go ahead and click uh, extract to and then go ahead and select where you want to extract it to pretty much where you want to extract it to is so this is gonna look really confusing uh, simply what you're gonna do is where it says um, desktop at the very top or whatever it says here um, uh, under desktop you may have to open that up under desktop go ahead, go ahead and hit desktop right here the second desktop below then go ahead and hit ok now just wait a, now just wait a second and then it'll extract to your desktop as you can see for me right here it's come right here so i'm just going to drag this right next to the fps unlocker zip file and you'll see two uh, roblox fps unlockers so one of them will be the uh, zip file which has three books which is a winra for me and the other one's the extracted version now with this extracted version what you're going to do is right click on it and then go ahead and hit create shortcut Go ahead and drag that right next to the Roblox FPS unlocker that you just uh, uh, extracted right now. So now you should have three applications or like sort of folders or files open uh, on here on your desktop. So now you should have like three files uh, on your desktop right here. The zip file, the uh, FPS unlocker extracted and the extracted version as a shortcut. So the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and hit uh, Windows key and R at the same time. Then go ahead and type in shell colon startup. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. Then what you want to do is uh, don't full screen uh, file explorer. What you want to do is go ahead and... Uh, put it to a point so you can see all of the three files right here so once you've done this what you can do is uh, the roblox fps unlocker shortcut version that we've created what you're going to do is go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and drag that into the folder right here now uh, you can close out of that but now every time you open up uh, your pc roblox fps unlocker will open with it so i don't have roblox fps unlocker open right now but obviously as you can see if i open it right now you'll see this uh it looks like a command prompt but it's on your screen for about two seconds then it goes off and then uh the fps unlocker is enabled then what you can do in game is go to the bottom right where the fps unlocker is if you can't see it on one of these icons then click on the arrow and then you'll see the fps unlocker right here but what you want to do is right click on the fps unlocker icon and then where it says uh fps cap you can hover over that and then choose uh, what you want to cap your fps at i recommend you to just do none but uh, roblox uh, automatically caps at 60 so whatever you want to do is probably going to be above 60 so for example i can set it to 360 or i can literally just set it to none and then i'll just push as much fps th that my pc can generate as possible now that's about it with the fps FPS unlocker. Now let's get into the tricks to get better FPS on Roblox. 
Now bear in mind, this tutorial only works if you're on Windows and Windows 10. Probably works if you're on Windows 11 as well, but I'm assuming not too many of you guys are on Windows 11. If you are though, everything uh, I do on here will be able to be uh, implemented on Windows 11. So yes, that unfortunately means that this doesn't work for mobile, but if you do want a mobile FPS unlock uh, boost trick for like mobile, iPad, tablets, and iOS and Android, go ahead and drop a comment down below and then I'll, and then I'll make one for iOS and Android. But this is for PC and Windows 10 and 11, so let's just hop into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Windows key on the bottom right, go ahead and click that and then click on the settings icon right here, if there's no settings icon there just go ahead and search settings and then open that up, then settings should open right here. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on gaming right here, it, it, it has this Xbox icon usually, uh, just click on gaming, go ahead and find out one of these options. Once you've clicked on gaming you'll see this uh, Xbox game bar, so automatically you probably just want to turn this off anyways. If you want you can turn it on if you play with people on Xbox but I'm assuming not many of you do. Uh, anyways what you're going to do next is go to captures on the left now what you're gonna do is if it, if if record in the background while I'm playing a game is on just go ahead and turn that off because as you can see here it says this may impact the quality of your game if you turn it on then it'll constantly be recording your game and as you can see here I've already got it automatically set to four hours so it'll be recording your game for four hours that could clog up your storage and also make your FPS horrible so go ahead and turn that off now for the next one we want to go to game mode on the left as well make sure that's on if it's off right now just go ahead and turn it on and then once you've done that it'll optimize your PC every time you open up Roblox but to make it work even better go to graphic settings on the right which is under related settings uh, if you can't find it then just search graphic settings and then pretty much what you want to do is go ahead and click on browse right here then you want to go to your primary drive then you want to go ahead and find roblox uh, pretty much uh, for me i go to my primary drive program files x86 then i scroll down all the way over to roblox and then go ahead and hit versions uh, click on this folder which has versions then something random and then click roblox player launcher and then once you add that as you can see it already says specific app was already added that's because i've already got it here go ahead and click on that click options and then uh, set that to high performance it'll probably automatically just say let windows decide but if you set it to high performance on roblox then that means every time you play roblox your performance will just be really good uh, anyways now on to the next trip now the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and press on file explorer on the bottom if, if file explorer isn't pinned to your taskbar then go ahead and just click type to search then search file explorer go ahead and open that and then once you've done that you should see this pc on the left right here it should automatically be open and you should be able to see like desktop documents and all that stuff go ahead and right click on this pc and then click on properties once you've done that uh settings should open again and then you'll see this properties thing it'll say about your pcs being monitored and protected if it doesn't then that's a bit dangerous but that's not what this is about uh if the, if it doesn't say that then you probably want to go to see details on windows security and get that solved but pretty much what you want to do is but pretty much what you want to do is once this is open uh, if you have this in full screen then on the right you'll see advanced system settings i think if you don't have it in full screen you have to scroll to the bottom but if you have settings in full screen then on the right you'll see related settings and then advanced system settings go ahead and click on advanced system settings now once you've done this this thing called system property should appear uh what you're going to do then is go ahead and click on settings right here on performance if it isn't already on advanced then click on advanced and then click on settings under performance now once you've done this you'll see uh, a bunch of visual effects uh, performance options so we're going to just adjust this so that you get a uh, but better performance so if you click adjust for best performance here it'll just uh, automatically remove all the ticks on everything here but you may not want it to do that because uh w once you press apply you'll see that like sudden effects on your computer take place like for example when i move uh this uh, window around you can see the outline moving around but the app doesn't actually move in the outline with it as usual so if you don't want that you can go ahead and customize these settings but if you really need good fps on roblox then what i recommend you to enable is smooth edges uh, on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons go ahead and enable that so that everything doesn't look really messed up on your computer some things may look not as good as you want it to like for example if you're like dragging this up and down you'll see that it only has outlines it does that a lot with like dragging things around uh if you uh, want to go back you can just go back open up uh, this setting and then just click adjust for best appearance then it'll retick everything but yeah you want to go to adjust for best performance click smooth edges of, of screen fonts and click um and click show thumbnails instead of icons now just hit apply on the bottom right then click ok click ok again and then you should be back on settings you can close out of that now uh, close out of file explorer and then now we can go on to the next trick so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and hit your windows key or just go to the bottom left where it says type here to search go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and search edit power plan 
Now, uh, you'll see uh, under it, it says control panel, and it should be like this green battery thing with like a little plug going around it. Go ahead and click on that. Now, once you've done this, you want to go to the top over here, click on power options again, and then once you're on power options, you'll see all of these uh, power options you can enable. What you'll probably automatically have is balance, which is recommended, and then the other option here is ultimate performance, which I've already selected here. But uh, if you don't have ultimate performance as an option, then go ahead and press this drop down menu where it says hide additional plans, and then go ahead and select ultimate performance. Once you've done that, you'll get a lot better performance of video games uh as you can see here though it does say provides ultimate performance on higher npcs so if it does make you lag a little bit more then go ahead and deselect that and return back to balance but for me uh ultimate performance is pretty good for me anyways once you've done that you can close out of that now the next thing i recommend you to do is go ahead and go back to chrome and then go ahead uh, on chrome or whatever search engine you use go ahead and search up razor cortex and then click on the first razor cortex link now once you've done this you should be on the official razor cortex website if you're not then i'll drop a link in the description you can go ahead and check that one out but pretty much uh, as you can see it just says download now and uh, the description for it here is unlock your pc's full potential enhance your play by boosting your system performance and discover the best uh, gaming deals all on one powerful platform that basically some summarizes what the app does but if you don't completely understand that pretty much uh, this is just really useful for any uh, gamer who plays any video games because it helps your PC just run games really really well so yeah uh, just go ahead and hit download now and then go through the download process through that once you've done that go ahead and open up Razer Cortex I've already got it installed so I'm not going to go through the uh, installing process but it'll be very self-explanatory you can go ahead and install that you can pause the video right now whilst you install it and then come back once you've done installing it so once Razer Cortex is open you should automatically be put on this page called my library you may have to sign up an account i've just clicked continuous guest but as you can see uh, on my library it'll have all the games that you have obviously it may just have roblox or roblox uwp the difference is one is the roblox windows app one of them is the actual roblox like app that you play through the website i have a few games here as you can see but yeah uh, that's not what we want to be doing obviously if you click on some of these games you'll be able to uh, change some of the settings within so what you want to do is go over to boost right here and then what you want to do is uh, and then as you can see it'll have some information here about boosting stuff but yeah go ahead and click boost now if you're about to start playing a game so what you want to do is go to system boost on the top right here and then go ahead and click scan right here when you click this button that says scan it'll start scanning your pc for cache cake whatever you want to call it uh but it'll start scanning your pc for like bad files or junk and uh this will help speed up your pc and optimize your pc to speed it up so just let it scan your pc first once it's done to 100 percent go ahead and unpause this video and then continue okay so guys once the scan is done you'll see this optimize button right here and on the bottom you'll be able to see uh system clean speed up your pc and defrag games so on system clean it'll say how much uh, get, uh storage you have to be cleaned as you can see i have a whole 24 gigabytes of storage that they're about to clean from my pc by just clicking the optimize button also speed up for optimizing certain games uh no items need to be optimized here but for you, you may have some to be optimized because you've probably never used this before i have used it before so um so, uh, most like items they speak of uh have already been optimized that's what says congratulations no items need to be optimized and then zero out of 15 games that i have needs to be defragged but if it does say any games do need to be defragged go ahead and select that as well and uh, I recommend all of them just being selected anyways, but I don't actually need any of them to be selected. I don't need these two to be selected because obviously uh, I don't need any to be optimized and I don't uh, have any games to be defragged. If you do have things to be optimized or do have uh, games to be defragged, then obviously select that. Then once you've done that, hit this big optimize button in the middle, and then it'll start optimizing your PC. As you can see on the bottom left, it's rapidly cleaning my PC. It's already 4% done. So as you can see, it's already done 400 megabytes. So I'm just going to let that uh, clean up for a little bit. Obviously, as you can see, this has just been optimized. And on the bottom left, you can see that it says, for me the 21.6 gigabytes of disk space has been read you it may also say that uh, your pc has been sped up once you've done that you can minimize up razor cortex and then go to any roblox game that you like i'm just on this for base play but it doesn't have to be this it's gonna make it easier for me to load it and everything so as you can see uh, every time you go ahead and hit play on roblox obviously everything will work as normal but as long as you have razor cortex open then on the bottom right will say that a certain amount of ram has been released and that a certain amount of uh certain amount of items have been optimized so this means that whilst you're playing that this means like uh ram that's being dedicated to certain things in your pc that isn't required to run roblox will be released and uh, it won't be running those apps it won't be running those apps as well as run roblox so uh every time you leave a game will automatically uh unrelease the ram or like restore the ram so uh, you can go back to using your pc normally but you can also uh disable this every time if you just go back to razor cortex you can do restore now and then it will just restore the ram anyways if you don't like that but realistically it doesn't really harm your pc so it's pretty fine if you do the same thing about how i showed you to uh set roblox fps unlocker to launch every time you open up which is you know windows key and r etc which is at the start of the video you can go ahead 
and check that out so that you can put Razor Cortex there. So that every time you start up your PC, Razor Cortex will open. Uh, if you don't want that, you can you can go to Task Manager and then stop that from starting every time. I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. But let's hop into the next trick. So for the next one, what you're gonna do is in a Roblox game. This one's pretty obvious, but if you haven't done this before, then uh, I highly recommend you to do this. So what you're gonna do is press Escape or press this uh, uh, Roblox icon on the top left of your screen. Then go to Settings and then uh, on Graphics mode you can switch that. If it's on Automatic, you can switch that to Manual. And then on Graphics Quality, uh, obviously I have mine on Maximum right now because I'm in a base plate and it doesn't lag my game at all. But if your game is lagging a lot and you have like a high graphics option, let's say it's in like the middle right here and it's lagging a lot, what you can do is lower it down to like two or one. And as you can see, the textures change a bit and the render distance decreases. Like obviously, if I have it at max, uh, if if I have it at max graphics right here, you can see the texture changes and it'll just look high quality. But if you need that performance, then you may uh, want to drop that down to you know graphics two, three, uh, however much you need. But I recommend experimenting with that and then finding your sweet spot. Now this one's a pretty obvious one. You may have done this before, so let's just hop into the next step. Also, as you can see here, I just left the game and it says restoring 22 items, which means that now my RAM will be released. Also, you may have noticed just there that said my maximum FPS was like 500 or something. You can turn that on if you want, but it's only really useful if you have the FPS unlocker. Otherwise, your maximum FPS will only be like 60 every single time. If you're on the FPS unlocker, again, head to the start of the video because I explain how you download it. The next FPS boost trick, what you're going to do is go ahead and uh, press your Windows key or go to the bottom left and click on Type here to search, then search Task Manager. Now, if your Task Manager looks a bit like this, it's really simple. What you're going to do is go ahead and hit More Details right here, click on that, and then you'll get expanded. You'll see a bunch of things you may not understand, but don't worry about that. I'll just show you what you need to know. So, pretty much, what you're going to do is go over to Startup right here. And then on startup, you'll see all these apps here that start up every time you start your PC. Some of these may be disabled, so if they are disabled, that means they do not start up every time you start your PC. But the ones that are enabled do start up every time you turn on your PC. But uh, pretty much what you're going to do is go through some of these, and anything that you think you don't need to use on startup, you can disable. For example, Spotify here is enabled, and uh, I just uh, re enabled it just for the purpose of this video, but I already had it disabled. Disable it, just click on it, and then hit disable. But anything that's already enabled will have a startup impact measure on the uh, right which will show you uh, from a scale of like high to low uh, the impact of uh, every time it starts up on your PC so for example Logitech gaming framework uh, has a high startup impact every time I start my PC so if this didn't affect my PC then I would disable it but I don't recommend disabling anything that you don't know what it is otherwise you may disable something really important to run your PC and it may be bad for your PC overall. But yeah, I recommend going through that and then disabling anything with a high startup impact that you know you don't need to use every time your PC starts up. But obviously, if you don't know what it is, then don't disable it. Now, the final thing is pretty obvious, but I'm just going to show you it anyway. So, on Task Manager, as long as you have uh, this expanded, then you'll have uh, all your apps here that are running on your PC. Anything with a high CPU, memory, or GPU usage, or also power usage. Uh, for example, I have OBS Studio, which is recording this video right now. It's at moderate, but I'm not going to close this, otherwise the video will just stop recording. But pretty much, like, if you have anything that's, like, really high that you're not using, then just click on that and then hit End Task on the bottom right. I recommend you don't go into background processes, because most things here are things you probably won't understand. But other than that, that's all the FPS boosts I've got for you in this video, guys. If you want a part 2, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Go ahead and drop a comment down below if this helps. If it didn't help or if you need some help with anything, go ahead and just drop a comment in the comment section down below and I'll come through and help you guys out. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed and check out one of these videos on the screen now.